An extremely rare solar eclipse is coming, and here's everything you need to know about how and why an eclipse occurs, and what you can do to get the best view of the upcoming August 21st eclipse. First, we need to understand why solar eclipses even happen, and why are they so rare? A solar eclipse occurs when the moon blocks out the sun's light from hitting the Earth's surface. The moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun, and the sun is about 400 times further than the Earth than the moon. So with a ridiculous amount of luck and sort of weirdness, the moon nearly perfectly blocks out the entire sun. The moon only blocks out the entirety of the sun for about two minutes, but the entire process will last about an hour and a half throughout the entire United States. This picture shows the path at which the eclipse will take, and what percentage of the eclipse you will be able to see in your area. Most people will sadly not get to see the total solar eclipse and will only see the partial solar eclipse, but it's still a great sight to see. So why are solar eclipses so rare? Shouldn't they happen every month? They would, if the moon traveled in the same plane as Earth, but the moon's orbit is tilted by up to 5 degrees. That tilt makes it so that the moon traveling in between the sun and the Earth is quite rare. It only occurs between 2 and 5 times per year. On top of that, they're only visible in certain areas, and certain eclipses are better than others because the moon travels in an elliptical orbit, which means its distance from the Earth varies. This upcoming eclipse will be at the point where it's very close to Earth, so it's going to be a great view. Now one of the coolest facts about an eclipse rarity is that the last time the solar eclipse happened that was visible across the entire 48 states was 99 years ago. If you live in the United States and you don't travel all that much, you'll only be able to see a few solar eclipses in your entire life. And that's why this is such a special event. You should definitely try to check it out. So now we know why a solar eclipse happens and why it's so rare. The next thing you need to know is how the heck do we actually view it? I don't know about you, but looking directly in the sun doesn't really sound like a good idea. And it's not. In fact, solar eclipses have a special term called eclipse blindness, with the, the huge influx of people going blind, or at the very least, damaging their eyes trying to look at the sun too long. Make sure you only view the eclipse if you have special glasses designed to watch the eclipse. I already have five pair for me and my friends, so make sure you get yours. Keep your eyes safe, guys, and make sure you check the best time to view the eclipse in your area. Now you know about all these super cool and unique events, so if this video helped you out whatsoever, please press the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and have a super duper delicious day.